Well, beginners, can you believe that we are back on videos? I can't, but we are. And look at our tree. Miss Sarah put the tree behind her so you could see the tree because you're not going to see it. Well, actually you will because we're going to keep it until January so that when you come back and we do the gift exchange on the first day of school in January after Christmas, then you'll see the tree still and we'll put all the gifts under the tree. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start our videos again for this week. We're just going to have a couple videos. We're not going to have many videos, but um, we're definitely going to have a math video and we're going to have um, a penmanship video. Uh, so today for this video, this is going to be your math video. So we're just going to review what we have learned so far. And so you're going to need your abacus. So go ahead and grab it. And then Miss Sarah is going to say a number. And I'm going to want you to enter it on the abacus. So that's what we're going to do for this time. We're not going to do all the tally sticks and... Um, we're not going to do the, um, we're going to do our hands. We're going to do the abacus. We're not going to do the talistics and we are going to do the numbers. So you're going to show me the number written like this, right? So you can actually, for your numbers, you have a little bag Hold on, let me grab that little bag real fast. You have a little bag that we gave you last time. It's this little bag right here. So you should have this little bag with you. So you can go ahead and open this little bag and you can put your numbers together. So you have a lot of different numbers in there. So what I want you to do is I want you to find Number one, I want you to find number one. Miss Sarah already put hers together. So I want you to find number one. That's a little one like this, okay? So you're gonna find them and you're gonna find all your one digit numbers. All number one, number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And put them right in front of you. Don't worry about the other ones right now. Not yet, so all the big numbers like this one. Who knows what this one is? <gasps> yeah, very good, 100. Okay, like these ones, don't worry about these ones, or like the big one. Who knows what that one is? <gasps> we'll find out what that one is. Okay, so all of the big numbers, you can go ahead and put them all together aside. Just keep these numbers, one through nine. Those are the ones that we need right now. Okay. All right, very good. So here's what we're gonna do. Miss Sarah's gonna send a number and then I want you to go ahead and enter it into your abacus. Show it with your hands, right? Show the number with your hands. Then show the little number that goes with it right and then i want you to go ahead and write it on your uh sleeve so on your sleeve you know this sleeve right here just go on the other side right there and just write it on here okay with your you have the miss sarah put your marker inside so just go ahead and write your number over here okay so you have several things to do remember you've you're used to it because you've done it plus the talistics. So today, no talistics, but definitely everything else. Okay, good. Are you ready? All right, clear your abacus. So remember, you have the little A. Whoop, clear your abacus, just like that. Now I want you to enter number three. Enter number three on your abacus. Just three. We don't want five and three. We just want three, right? Well, yes, three. Okay, very good. 
So enter three and then go ahead and find. So you have to work fast. Remember, we're trying to do all of this really fast. So enter three on your abacus. Show me three with your finger. I almost showed you what it was. And then show me three or show your mommy three with your numbers. And then write your number with the marker. Can you do that? Okay, very good. Right, you get to work fast, okay? Ready? Miss Sarah's gonna move really fast with the number and you've got to work really fast. So focus, don't think of anything else, don't play with anybody, get your work done, okay? All right, next number is number five. So go ahead, enter five on the abacus, then with your fingers, good. Then with your numbers, show number five to your mommy. And then, last thing, write number five on the sleeve. Okay, very good. Next number is number two. Number two. You got it? Okay, Miss Sarah's gonna show it to you now. You should have entered it, written it, everything. This number two, is that what you wrote? Good, all right, very good. Next one is number six. Six. Number six. Okay, good, did you enter on the abacus? If you don't remember, sing the little song. Yellow is the sun. Good, good job, okay. So you entered six, good. So this was number six, right? And on the abacus, it was like this. Good job, okay. Now I want you to enter number nine. Can you enter number nine? Number nine. Good. All right, this was number nine. I hope that's what you wrote. And here is number nine on the abacus, five and four. Hear the thunder roar, nine is five and four. Good job. And did you write number nine? Did you start at two o'clock? Went around and straight down. Good job. Okay, ready? Number seven. Number seven. Okay. So Number seven, enter it on the abacus, show your mommy your fingers. And this is number seven, good job. And seven is five and two. I hope that's what you entered. Okay, next number is number 10. Now that one is so easy. Number 10. Now, for number 10, you're gonna have to look for your numbers in the other pile. In the other pile where you have two digit numbers. You know the pile I told you to put aside? Like these right here, all of these. I told you to put them aside. Well, 10 is in there, 110. So this is 10, and I know you know 10 because you're so smart. And 10 is five and five. We're just reviewing right now. 10 is five and five, and we got it over here, very good. All right, excellent, last, last number is number eight. Can you show me number eight? Can you show your mommy number eight? All right, very good. Let's do number eight. And eight is over here, five and three. I hope that's what you enter. And number eight is over here, number eight. Go ahead and write it, start at two o'clock, go all the way around and across, back up to two o'clock. All right, very good, good job. Let's sing our little song together, you ready? Yellow is the sun, six is five and one. Why is the sky so blue? Seven is five and two. Here, um, salty is the sea. Eight is five 
seven, three. Hear the thunder roar. Nine is five and four. Ducks will swim and dive. Ten is five and five. Good. All right, very good. Now, I want you to grab your abacus, clear it over here, clear it, and I want you to build the stairs really, really fast. Can you do it? So remember, we start with one on the first row, then two on the second row, then three, then four, and we keep on going, okay? Then five, and then what happens? Six. Josias, can you put six? Remember, five and one. All right, very good, five and one. Good job, Matthew. Five and two is seven. Then we have eight, five and three. Then we have nine, five and four. And last one, five and five is 10. Good, now you built your stairs. Now I want you to start at the bottom really fast and count backwards, you ready? All right, go for it. 10. Mm, good, Rocio. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more time. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off, good job. Okay, excellent. Now, I'm gonna show you a number and I want you to tell me what comes first or what comes before. So remember, if I show you a number, you have to enter it on the abacus then take away one. When you take away one, then you find out what comes before. Okay, so if I show you Seven, if I show you seven, enter seven on the abacus. Do you remember how? Seven on the abacus, five and two, good job. Oh, five and two, here it is, five and two on the abacus, seven, right? Now, take away one and tell me what comes before seven. That's right, it is six. Good job, six comes before seven. Okay, now what comes before nine? Okay, enter nine on the abacus and take away one. That's right, eight comes before nine. Good job. Now what comes before five? So show me five, show me five, show me five beats. Now take away one, what comes before? Yes, four comes before, good job. All right, now enter uh, eight. Eight on the abacus, eight on the abacus. All right, now take away one, what comes before eight? Seven, seven, very good, okay. And then the last one is 10, 10. So for 10 is a one and a zero. So I don't have it over here, by the way. So I have it here. Oh, 10, what comes before 10? Enter 10 on the abacus and take away one and you have nine, nine. Good job, all right. Excellent, excellent job. Now, we're gonna play a new game. The game is called Name the Rule. Are you listening to Miss Sarah? All right, very good, Name the Rule. So, Miss Sarah is gonna name, is gonna look around the classroom and name all of the objects that are red. Everything that is red. So you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna look around your room where you are and you're going to look at all the objects that are red and you're gonna name them, okay? So for instance, if I'm looking around the room at everything that I see, I'm gonna say 
what is red. Okay, so for me in the classroom, I see that the drawers are red. I see that there is a color red, a paper with the color red on the, the French card over there. I see, look at the eraser on the board that is red, right? What else do I see? Look on the, on the wall. You see the lips zipped? The lips are red. That's right. What else do we have that is red? Oh, the chimney over there in the back. The chimney is red. Very good. How about right here, the abacus on Hosea's desk? You see the abacus? The abacus is red. And then there's something red in that little bag too, right? The ribbon. The ribbon is red. How about right here? How about all the baskets? All the baskets that we have by the, the desk. Are those red? Yeah, very good. How about the lid? You see in the very back? Um, let's see. Do you see the lid over there? The lid of my box? The lid is red. All right. Good job. So see, those are some of the things that are red in the room. There's also this ornament right here. It has red in it, right? All right, so you look at your room where you are and you find everything that is red. Now, can you name the rule that I use to decide what object I was gonna call out? Can you tell me the name of the rule? What, this, what did I decide to say, to call out? Like when I decided to say abacus, or when I decided to say the baskets, what rule did I use? What rule did I obey? Did I listen to? What was I looking for? Yes, good job. I think you got it. It was all of the objects that are red. Right? All the objects that are red. That's my rule. Name all the objects that are red. And so because of the rule, then I listened to the rule and I did it. Good. Now this little game, name the rule, is going to help us to understand some things. So to, for tomorrow for the video, you'll have another name the rule game. Okay, it's not going to be the objects that are red. It's going to be something else. So we'll find out tomorrow. All right, very good. Now, I want you to take all your cards, all of them, all the cards that were in that little bag, and spread them out on the table. And I want you to look at all of your um, letters, or your numbers that are the same. So all the ones that have one digit, like the seven, one through nine, put them all together. Then all the other ones that have two digits, like this, like this one, this one, all of them, like this one, all the two digits, put them all together. All the three digits, like this has three numbers, one, two, three, all the three digits, put them all together. And then for the last one, all the four digits, put them all together, all the four digits. Okay, good. Are they all organized? All right, excellent. Now, I want you to find the matching cards with what I'm going to enter on the abacus. So I'm gonna enter a number on the abacus. I'm gonna clear my abacus right here. I'm gonna enter a number and I want you to find the matching card. You ready? Okay. What is the matching card that goes with this? How many beads do I have? Good, Matthew. Four. So show me four with all of the cards that you have on the table. All the cards. Can you show me four? Show your mommy. Yes, I show mine. This is four. Very good. Now, I'm going to enter another one. You ready? Ready? 
All right, show me, show your mommy the card that goes with this, these numbers of beads. Good, okay, ready for the next one? What is the matching card? Good job, if that's what you found, you did it right. Okay, next one. Find the matching card. If that's what you found, you did it. That was five. Good, next one. Find the matching card. Nine, good job. Okay, how about this one? Good, that was eight. Okay, how about this one? Did you find it? Good, okay. How about this one? Oh, I think we did this one already. How about this one? That's right, now this one you have to find it is in a different pile. It's two digit, right? Two digit. All right, excellent. Okay, ready? Wanna do another one? Aha, can you figure this one out? Can you find your number that goes, that match the numbers of beads that I entered? So remember I entered 110 and then 210. 210, can you find 210? Ah, Miss Sarah's gonna show you. 210, let's see if this is the same as the one you found. All right. Uh-oh, my, my Sarah's were all messed up. Okay, ready? This one, this is 210, 210. Very, very good, okay. Are you ready? Now, what is this one? What is that one? Can you find the matching card? How many, how many tens do you have? One ten, two ten, three ten, four ten, five ten. We can count like this, or we can just see it. If we look at it like this, if we just, if you just look at these little beads right here, you have one, two, a middle one, and an end, and then two in between, right? If you just look at these, you see five, don't you? So you know it's five ten. All right, and five ten is. Can you find five ten? This one. This is five ten. All right, very good. Let's do it again. Now I want you to. Find the matching cards for this one. So how many tens do you see? Right, you can you see three rows, right? So you know it's three ten. Three ten. And what is three ten? Three ten. Three ten. Good job. Okay. Now I'm gonna enter all of these plus this one. Now, how many tens do I have? So remember, these right here, all the other ones are five, right? Five, you have five beads. If you look, if you were to look at it like this, right? If you were to look at it like look at it like this, you have five beads plus one of another color. What is five and one? That's right, it is six. So this is six 
610. Can you find the matching cards for 610? Let me see if I can find mine. There we go. 610. 610. Good. Good job. Okay. Clear your abacus. And now I'm going to enter all of these. All of these. Very good. How many tens do you see? So you have all of them, right? Minus one. This one, you don't have it. So let's look. Let's look at the rows. Let's look at the rows. How many, how many colors do you see? So here is five and one, two, three, four. What is five and four? Nine. So this is nine, ten. Because remember, when you have all the beads together, if I do this, you have ten, ten, right? Which ten, ten is? Oh, let's see if you're going to remember. Okay, let, right now, let's look at nine, ten. Okay, nine, ten is this one. Nine, ten is this one. All right, very good. So you can keep working on that with your mom or your dad all week this week. Try to figure out 810 and enter them really fast. Entonces, para la, la semana, ellos pueden, usted pueden preguntarle de entrar um, 910 or 410 or 310 and they need to enter it really fast and then they need to, ellos tienen que entrar 110 o 510 o 1010 y después mostrar el número que corresponde con lo que um, ustedes di dijo. Entonces, eso es el juego para uh, hoy y para esta semana. Uh, y eso es todo. Gracias, padres. Nos vemos.